Welcome to March. February is finally over, which is awesome. I always say it has the shortest amount of days because it sucks the most. Did you know more people kill themselves in the month of February than any other month, which is why, thank goodness, it's the shortest month, but then also why I felt it was super important in March to have this reading center around our happiness, okay? So there are a lot of reasons why people watch these videos, but at the very core of it, I think that people are watching because they want some good news, right? They want something to look forward to. In the uh, words of Omar Suleiman, a very wise guy, he says that the keys to happiness are three things. Something to love, something to do, and something to look forward to. So hopefully, I'm gonna give you all of those in this reading. So, um, even if your life is already full of joy and happiness and bliss, if you're just wanting to hear some validation about these good vibes that you're already feeling, that, you know, to hear you're already on the right path, that you're making the right choices, the right decisions for that sense of security, security does bring happiness, right? Knowing what to expect. At the end of the day, happiness is what we're all seeking. It's the reason why we seek out help, why we would use a tarot reader, why we would look up our horoscope. This is why we're doing this, okay? We are fiends for happiness. It's the ultimate drug and so this is what we're focusing on in uh, March so this will be for your Sun moon or rising sign uh, a lot of times because of our moon sign correlates to our emotions and how we feel which is a lot of times why we make the decisions we make that might resonate a little bit better for you so um, it might be advisable to watch your moon sign as well as your Sun sign and then you could do your rising sign as well too if you'd like to um, what did I want to say okay so since we're focusing on happiness for March and how to kind of sustain that throughout the year this is how we're gonna look at it we're gonna do um, where are you at right now what is tainting any feelings of happiness that you otherwise should have right now what will make you feel happy or at least what you think will um, how is that perception true how is that perception false um, what will actually make you the most happy this month and then we're gonna look at the forces that are kind of outside of your control right, that is affecting this state, and um, which ones that are not really within your power are kind of accelerating your happiness, and then which ones are decelerating that. Um, we're going to look at what's going to bring you luck this month, your crystal of the month, your color energy, your lucky days, and then also any energies that you need to kind of bring into your life in order to help the happiness thrive, how to sustain the happiness once you get some, and then just kind of like a recap or overall nutshell of what March will look like for your sign. So um, kind of thinking about, you know, okay, well, is this reading going to be enough because it's for each specific zodiac sign, each sign has their own. Then I was thinking, um, those of you who have followed me for a long time might remember stop, drop, roll readings, uh, where it's something that you stop doing, something you drop from your life, and something you should roll with. I think I'm going to do a special on those, but um, really kind of amped up or accelerated in order to um, really harness in on that happiness sort of life coaching aspect. And the reason why I think this is important in March is because number one, it's the perfect time for spring cleaning, right? Uh, number two, the popularity of Marie Kondo right now and you know, sort of thinking about, let's get rid of the things that don't bring me joy. Let's just focus on the things that bring me joy and you know, we all are always looking for joy. We're either trying to increase pleasure or decrease pain. And so that's kind of the purpose of this reading. And then here's the other thing. We're about to step into this Mercury retrograde. We're in the pre-shadow period right now as I record this. And so then when it hits us, um, in order to use this time in its fullest potential, we want to very much evaluate, okay, this isn't working for me. I want to pitch this and I want to do something that's going to make my life better. It's going to make me happier. It's going to make me more joyful, more satisfied with life. And so um, I think I'm going to offer that like in sort of a goals and coaching, very intensive sort of way as a special. Um, once I decide to do that, 
if you're on the email list, um, I only send one email a month, so don't let that be a reason why you're not on my list. Um, then you'll be notified of that. And if there's like a coupon code or something that would be in there, uh, if you're not on the list, you should be because I give away, like I said, it's only one email a month, but I, every single month I give away a free 20 minute, um, video reading to uh, a random person selected from my list. So that being said, um, I'm sorry if this long intro did not bring you joy, if it decreased your happiness, but now you know what to expect in your reading. So let's get started. Hey Capricorn, so what's up with you right now? They're like, you're too worried about something. You have a good amount of anxiety and it's about moving on from something you care about and shifting your mindset, feeling like super confident in doing that. So trouble is that you don't entirely want to move on because there's good things here. But, you know, maybe it's time to move out of um, your best friend's house that you've been renting with them. Or maybe it's time for you to move on from a relationship. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just like you want something more or a job, you know, a bit better opportunity. So that's what's up right now. Um, what's, what's tainting any feelings of happiness? And they're saying, you know, honestly, as there shouldn't be anything like from other people's communication that is tainting your happiness. It's more of like your own defensiveness. Like you might be sort of defensive like before having a reason to, um, but this is coming from within you. So you're going to want to have to, you're going to want to change that on your own. Um, it's not like people are attacking you, but it's like you anticipate that they're going to. And so you're like kind of on the defense, like you're ready to kind of um, justify what you're doing or how you're feeling or what you're thinking um, because you're just like feeling like you're going to be attacked. Um, what do you think is going to make you happy in the month of March? And they're saying maybe like slow and steady wins the race and just like this sort of um, healing from any sort of disappointment. Like you feel like you're slowly healing um, and that's just going to naturally make you happier. You're, you're somewhat in tuned to like the vibes that are going on with planets and astrology and stuff like that. Your intuition is spot on right now. And so um, some of you are kind of like, oh, Mercury retrograde. I'm not going to do things right now, like even though I kind of want to, but then I'm kind of afraid of doing it. And like for some of you, this is more of a lack of, this is you like not wanting to take control. So in this specific circumstance, whatever it is you're trying to move on from or away from, and you're like, mm, Mercury retrograde is a good excuse not to do something new right now. Is that true? They're saying, well, most of it is just laziness and not wanting to make a decision. So is it true that this Mercury retrograde is not a good time to move on from this or that? And they say no, no. So for most of you, the answer is no. I mean, obviously, like a, a um, personal reading might give you better answers, but for the majority of you, that's not a reason. They're like, you just really need to make the decision and, and go forward. Go forth, my darlings. <laughs> um, how is your perception true that maybe the timing is a bit off? And they're like, the timing is only off because you don't want to put the work in to do it to get what you want. You know what you want, so just do it. <laughs> um, how is it false? I guess we already kind of know that. They're like, you have to shift your perspective a little bit. They're saying like, you are a very powerful person. There's no reason to not have confidence here. Do it. If you feel like this is something you need to do, you're like, you're totally just like, you know, putting up your shield and you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do this and like preparing for a battle and no battle exists. There's nothing standing in your way except for you. So if you know what you want, go get it. Go grab it. Take that new job. Move out. Whatever. Um, what will actually make you the most happy in the month of March? And they're saying... Um, for some of you, it is your anxiety um, and it, about thinking it about this. Like you're choosing that because it makes it feel more important if you worry about it and you fret over it. <laughs> okay. That was a little snarky, but for real. <laughs> they go um, just taking action, to be completely honest. And by the time the end of March comes around, you'll be glad that you did. Okay. So forces that are outside of your control that are in favor of your happiness this month is that um, 
you're kind of understanding that like what you maybe thought was going to be happily ever after isn't now, but that it still exists and you can go find it and that you have the choice to kind of take hold of your own destiny and future and move in that direction. Now forces outside of your control that are working against your happiness this month is this element of confusion of what is most important to me. Maybe I don't know. I don't know how to handle this situation. I'm afraid of how other people are going to react. But what they're saying is it's actually a non-issue that you're just creating and it's going to drive you crazy. So just let that go and do what's right for you this month. Um, what's going to bring you luck this month? So your lucky number or your lucky day is actually the 13th of March. And then your color energy is watermelon. Aw, isn't that awesome? So not only do you are you able to wear this color, you can use this color ray energy to kind of like heal your chakras and stuff like that, but you can eat your color energy this month. You can use watermelon scented things like candles in order to really use this energy. Um, it's an energy of the three, so it's divinely guided. Um, spirit has your back with this, okay? So all of these things, all of these decisions that you know, you're kind of contemplating, like, should I do this? Should I do this? Like, in search of something more? Absolutely. You are um, being pushed and guided by the spiritual realm. So they're saying having fun with your inner child is going to be important this month. So this color energy is like a soft and gentle, um, but also fun energy. You know, it's a soft and gentle food. It's not something that people typically choke on. Well, minus the seeds, but this one doesn't have seeds. <laughs> okay. Um, but it's also fun, like when we think about when we're going to serve watermelon, it's usually like at an outdoor barbecue where things are nice and sunny and fun and, you know, happy. So anyway, um, this helps us when our self-esteem is low, when we are feeling kind of sad or in the dumps. This is um, a very healing, joyful, playful kind of energy. And so with your affirmation, then you would say, help me to connect to my fun, easygoing, enthusiastic nature so I can spread joy and laughter wherever I go. And so this is going to give you the power that you need in order to move forward and feel really confident about that. But also, like I said, other people are not standing in your way. So they're likely to celebrate with you um, whichever way that you had. Okay, so if you're concerned like, oh, okay, I'm going to move out and then my roommate's going to be disappointed because now they have to pay all the rent by themselves. And they'll be like, no, I'm really happy for you that you're getting your own place. Good for you, blah, blah, blah. Same thing with a job. Oh, my boss is going to be upset or my coworkers are going to miss me. No, they're going to be really happy for you. They're going to celebrate with you. So your crystal of the month is carnelian, which comes, um, these are both polished but you can see how different they might look, okay? Anyway, it does so many things. You can look up more things that they do on my website or even order one there if you're interested or you can just get one from your local uh, rock shop. But if you get one from me, then you also get like the video playlist of all of the different ways that you can use crystals. Anyway, um, it helps you with courage. It helps you with confidence, which it seems like we need both of those, right? Standing up for yourself, getting rid of fear. Okay, yeah, because that's the only thing holding you back from taking these sorts of steps. Um, gets rid of rage, jealousy, resentment. Um, it awakens your inner joy, which is the same thing that this watermelon energy does. We need to really foster um, and create more joy in our lives. It gets rid of depression. Um, it helps you to be very mentally sharp, actually. It helps you with problem solving. And um, it also brings in abundance and protection, increases passion, desire, um, increases love and trust communication. So it's a really good stone for the direction that you're heading. Okay, so what kind of energies do you need to bring more of into your life in the month of March? And they're saying, you already know. It's that action. It's that action Jackson, Jackson energy. How do you sustain happiness once you get some? And they're saying, um, well, are you going to do it? Are you going to take the steps? Because are you even going to get some unless you do that? Um, so for those of you who are brave, who do this, you already know the answer. It's taking that first step in the first place because it's putting you in a place where you will continuously be happy and joyful. So March in a nutshell for you, they're saying like, you get to decide, are you not going to do anything or are you going to seize the opportunities? They're like, a lot of you just feel like it's too much work. Like you just, you're not um, enthused. And so you're just going to stay here and not really show yourself like the love 
and opportunity that you deserve. And so they're like, so if you choose in the month of March to be unhappy, that's your own choice, basically. So that's kind of shitty, but I mean, hopefully you just choose otherwise, right? <laughs> Love and light, see you in April. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!